Hello everybody, welcome back to the Georgia Bassmaster channel. Back here at the Shoal Bass Spot. Got the gray kayak for Corey, he's on the way. Got the Bonafide, got the pedal drive with me. A lot of times you, sight, you guys see me fish this spot in my John boat. But we're gonna be putting the kayaks in, heading all the way up to the waterfall. And basically the point of this video is, they are going to be blowing up my waterfall this year. I'm not really sure the exact date. I think it's sometime in the spring. So this is gonna be one of the last times I'm able to fish this spot because they're demolishing the whole dam. There's a lot of controversy over locals, biologists, fishermen, and Georgia Power who is destroying it on whether or not this is gonna have a big impact on the shoal bass population. I'm in the camp that is actually going to harm the population. Not trying to blow up this fishing spot, but the Georgia state record was caught in this section of river, the Georgia state record shoal bass. And obviously these dams are working on producing some giant shoal bass. And destroying these dams, there are three total, it's gonna make the hybrids, stripers, white bass, all these other bass that are trapped downstream be able to come up here and spawn where the shoal bass spawn, eat the shoal bass fry. I think it's gonna have a big impact on the shoal bass population. If you have an opinion on that, leave it in the comments. Without any further ado, we're gonna go ahead and load these kayaks in and uh, let's go ahead and tell you about today's video sponsor. All right guys, today's video sponsor is actually shopcurls.com. As you know, my favorite thing to use in the river are jerk baits and especially the Shimano Flash Boost. I get 30% off or so online. They're 20, two dollars at my local tackle store i get these things for 13.99 on shopcrawls.com and i literally ordered one of every single color and as you can see in today's video i catch my personal best show bass on the jerk bait i fish jerk bait all year long doesn't matter how cold how hot it is it is my all-time favorite river fishing bait so thank you to shop Carl's. use code georgia 10 if you have anything over 30 dollars in your shopping car shopping cart and you can save ten dollars at your checkout let's get back to the video Well, we just put the kayaks in. Corey finally decided to show up. So I'm about to drop this pedal drive down and head north. You might, there's a little side gully over here. You might be able to go up easier. Or unless you want to stay over here and fish until it gets low. We could fish around here real quick before we go, but. I mean, I was going to head up. I only got a few hours to fish, so. Okay, gotcha. Let's get this pedal drive in there. We are set. Let's see how this thing does in this current because I'm kind of a little bit scared. Just a little bit. I got to get sideways right here. Time to pedal my butt off. It's kind of sketchy because like the current's going multiple different ways and it's pushing my kayak left, right. Kind of funky feeling. But it's still high, so I shouldn't really have to worry about hitting any rocks. Woo! Is that a fish? It's a fish. That's a Oh no! Oh no! That was a giant sholey. I'm talking about three or four pounder. No. No. Got another one. It's big. Come on. Who, buddy? That's what I'm talking about. That's a good one right there. Two point seven six. Not a bad one. So literally, third or fourth, 
cast, almost a three pounder. I had a giant one on well over four pounds, but these both come out of the same hole. So absolute beauty of a fish. This right here is a certified shoal bass. Let's see if I can prop this up. That's a good one, my friends. Let's get a release on this. All right, so these shoal bass love staying in the rapids. If you can see, there's about three rocks right there, and it's kind of making a V shape around the back of them. Oh, that was a terrible cast. Anyways, these shoal bass love to hang right behind these rocks. So what I do, I throw right in there, and it's actually a calm spot. Today could be the day I catch my PB. Very well could be. Calm spot fishing. Could have just been a rock though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Another one. Another one. I got him hooked in the belly and the mouth. All right, I got it out. Not a giant one. Guys, I just may catch my four or five pounder today with how these fish are acting. Oh, I just had another fish. Got another one. Oh my goodness, guys. This is crazy. A few moments later. All right, I just missed this one on video, but this one's an 18 incher. What a giant, guys. What a giant. So for some odd crazy reason, didn't have my GoPro on, but this one right here is an 18 incher. I haven't got it on scale yet. Let me go ahead and get it on the scale. Three pounder. Another three pounder. Let's go ahead and throw that bad boy in there. What a giant. Ooh, big one follow it right here. All right, just had a big one follow it up to the kayak right here, so. I'm gonna take my time, fish it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a giant. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's a five. Oh my gosh, please don't come off. Oh my gosh. Ooh, yeah, buddy. That right there is a stud. Yes, yes. Just random casting over here, guys. What a stud. Oh my goodness. Let me get a weight on this thing. 
That right there is a Sholey. Yes. Pretty sure this is a PB. Pretty sure this is a PB. Oh my goodness. Yes, baby. Four point three. Four point three, baby. <laughs> oh. Four point three. That is my PB. Oh my goodness. Let me get out my, since I don't have my official ruler with me, I got my paddle that's got links on it. It's right at 20. Somewhere it's either 19 and three quarters or 20. I'm gonna have to put this on the stringer since I didn't bring my rope. What a giant though. All right, just banked it up over here, Corey and then made it. Four pounds, five ounces. Biggest sholey I've ever caught in my life. And uh, according to my measuring, I have some marks on my paddle. It's right at 20 inches. So it should be eligible for a Georgia Angler Award. But that is a giant. I'm gonna get Corey to take me a landscape photo. And then we'll get back to the truck, get it on the measuring board. See if we can get a five today. Highly likely. Might be some PVs broke by all three of us. So let's get back to it. If you guys like the new Guggen Squad boots, you can go on guggen.com, use my code Georgia, save 10%, helps my channel out. But they're pretty awesome keeping my feet dry and warm on this cold kayak fishing trip all right we are at the ramp walking back up to my truck to officially get my measuring board because if this shoal bass is 20 inches or bigger i get a georgia angler award because those size are pretty rare i'm out of breath i just uh, pedaled up some crazy rapids got the measuring board so as you saw i had a little measuring but i have a measuring tape on my paddle and it looked to either be 19 and three quarters or right at 20. It's gonna be cutting it close, but your boy is excited. Let's go ahead and get this bass out and measured. All right, we're at the measuring board now. Please, Lord. That, my friends, is a 20 incher. Oh, I am so excited. 20 inch shoal bass, guys. What a giant. Well, I'm beginning to think that was a bad idea, trying to make it up here to this waterfall. I actually climbed up over these rocks back here onto below the waterfall and broke the rudder on my kayak. So now I have to get a new rudder. But the question I have to ask myself, is a new PB worth a rudder? I think it is, but I also don't know how much a rudder costs. So that is uh, to be determined later. But yeah, no luck. Seems like the fish have just shut off. So I'll see you guys back at the ramp. So I actually didn't record an outro at the ramp like I said I was going to, but my shoal bass was 20 and one quarter inches long, which qualifies for a Georgia Angler Award. And uh, I'm pretty excited about that. The bass weighed four pounds, five ounces. Biggest shoal bass I've ever caught in my life. And the thing that gets me is I actually hung a bigger one that day. So hopefully I can get out there soon. Me and dad, dad wants to go. Hopefully we can catch a five pound sholey this year. I mean, anything closer to six pounds would be optimal, but if we can get a five pounds or bigger sholey this year, that's my goal. Thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel. Without any further ado, I have some cool videos coming down the line. So we'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.